Hello friends, this is Andrew Souther. Allow me to introduce you to the Breathe Easy Lung and Abs Exerciser, a device I've been using and benefiting from for several years, and also a device I've been making and marketing for several years. Uh, what is a lung exerciser? Well, it's, I call it a lung exerciser. It's a breathing training device. What it is is a variable restriction to breathing, both when you're inhaling and exhaling, so that it makes you engage your breathing muscles, which include your diaphragm, your ribcage muscles, and your abdominal muscles. And because it engages your abdominal muscles, that's why I call it an abs exerciser. The day after I used a lung exerciser for the first time, my abdominal muscles were sore. I thought that was really cool. So by calling it also uh, abs exerciser, I'm trying to help people understand the, the multiple benefits that you can get from this, this, I call it a pocket gym, it's a pocket gym. First, let's cover this. Um, this is not a medical device. It's not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease. Okay, this is an exercise device which um, makes you engage your breathing muscles consciously where when in your normal breathing, it, it happens automatically with such little resistance. This gives you a chance to put some resistance to those muscles. So that's why I call it a pocket gym. It's like getting into the gym and having a weight as a resistance, but the, the, it's not actual weight, it's actually uh, air pressure, either air pressure that builds up when you're exhaling or that kind of suction, that resistance that makes you engage the muscles longer to where for the inhale exercise, it becomes a bit of an isometric, which has phenomenal benefits. Who needs a device like this? Who needs breathing training? Who needs muscle tone? I would say uh, everybody. If, you, if you're breathing, which of course you are, if you're watching this, if you're breathing, you, you'll benefit from increased muscle tone. Whether you're a top athlete, or whether you're someone that wants is, is now just getting started into wellness and you wanna do something that helps you be stronger. You, you might be working out your arms, you might be working out your legs, but how do you work out the diaphragm? How do you work out the rib cage muscles? For the abdominals, of course, you can do sit-ups and stuff, but here's a way of toning those muscles without going to the actual gym, without getting all sweaty, without changing into your gym clothes, when at, wherever you see this, I happen to keep one in my bathroom vanity where I can keep it nice and clean and rinsed out all the time and use it right after I brush my teeth. Where, wherever you decide to use this, you can use this. It doesn't have to be a big production. You might have five minutes, you might have one minute, you might have 30 minutes where you can do some breathing training to get the, the benefits of better breathing. Okay, let's take the time and properly learn how to use the Breathe Easy Lung and Abs Exerciser. I break it down into two exercises. One that focuses on exhaling, one that focuses on inhaling. I'm always breathing in and out through the device. Okay, that's the important thing to understand. Now, if I'm doing the exhale exercise and I feel like I'm getting just a little bit behind on my breathing, I might skip a breath, catch up on my breathing, and then continue to breathe through the device in both directions. Everything you see me do on the video, I'm breathing through the device, not through my nose. Okay, so I can make this exercise. I like to use extremes to illustrate things. For exhaling, there's a, there's, a, there's a nuance while you're doing the exercise. And the nuance is, while you're exercising your breathing muscles, you also have to breathe, which means you need to, get, you need to uh, be caught up on your breathing. So, for example, here's the easiest way to describe it. Let me turn the valve fully off. I, I will not be able to breathe through this. It's completely shut off. Okay, while I'm holding that pressure, while I'm holding that tension, eventually I'm gonna get the impulse to inhale. Well, if I have this in my mouth and I can't exhale, well, I can't turn around and inhale through the device. So I never use it in that setting, but you can use it. It, it simulates like blowing up balloons or blowing up uh, what do you call those old hot water bottles. Uh, that's one way to exercise your, your, um, your muscles, that's fine. But I don't like to do it that way because I have this impulse to breathe and I wanna keep up with my breathing while I'm exercising my breathing muscles. So let me go to the opposite extreme where I've got this fully open. Okay, I'm able to exert my muscles against the resistance, but I'm finishing the exercise before I have the impulse to inhale. So I'm gonna get ahead of my breathing, which means I might feel a little, a little goofy for just a second from breathing too often, too hard. Okay, so what I like to do is just trying to find a balance between fully off and fully open. Now, the other variable in where to set this position isn't just, um, is it too hard or too easy, but it's also how hard am I gonna exert against this restriction? So it's hard to say, okay, we'll just set it here and that's where you need to go. 
well, how hard are you gonna push against that resistance? So it's a little bit of a science, a little bit of an art. It just takes a little bit of feel. So I'm gonna do a few repetitions and you're gonna see me make some adjustments. Now, when I stop making adjustments, that means I feel a very good exertion exercise while I'm exhaling, but I'm finishing the exercise about the same time that I had the impulse to inhale. That's the trick, that's the nuance. Here we go. Okay, so what you saw me do was I started out with the device too easy for the exhalation exercise. I was finishing the exhale too soon. Then I tightened it up. Then I went to a harder resistance, like adding more weight on the weight machine. But I felt like I was gonna get behind on my breathing, like I was gonna get the impulse to inhale before I finished exhaling. Because I really want a long, they call it, in weightlifting, we call it time under tension. We want the muscles under tension for a long time to fatigue more and more types of um, muscle cells, muscle tissue, muscle fibers. Then I uh, opened it up just a little bit and then I found the balance and that's where I went, hey, it's okay. Now I could sustain that breathing, inhaling and exhaling, keeping up with my breathing needs while also feeling I was, good, I was getting a good exercise, particularly on my, my core muscles. Now let's go to inhalation, the, the exercise of inhaling. Uh, I, didn't, I, I didn't start using this device for that purpose where I was just focusing on inhaling, inhaling until about a year and a half ago when I was getting ready for a hiking trip out in California where I was gonna be up around 7,500 feet, 8,500 feet, hiking about 44, 45 miles, 46 miles. And I just got this idea to say, you know, just to let me focus just on inhaling as deep as I can. So the results were very profound. Here's how I do it. Very simple, fully open the valve, inhale as deep as I can, and then I'm gonna pause, and then I'm gonna notice that I can pull the diaphragm a little bit lower. I'm gonna pause a little bit lower, and I'm gonna pause. And then about that time I'm feeling like I, okay, I'm ready to exhale because I've kind of used up all the oxygen in that really deep breath. The beautiful thing about this exercise is that you never fall behind on your breathing. You always have enough air. You always have enough oxygen because you're taking in a really, really, really deep breath. And in each breath, you're getting more oxygen than you need. So it's like kind of holding your breath while you're holding tension on the diaphragm, which creates the, um, the muscle tone. But it also has another benefit when that diaphragm moves against the vagus nerve, vagus nerve, which connects your gut to your brain, that's a manual trigger for your brain to switch you from the stressful state of fight or flight to the relaxing state of rest and digest, the parasympathetic nervous system. It's a manual trigger, triggered by the diaphragm moving down. That's why I treat the exhale exercise different from the inhale exercise is because I want that isometric, I want that diaphragm to come down as low as I can get it, I want that trigger for relaxation. And where with exhaling, I can, you know, maybe do several repetitions and maybe I'll pause and then do a few sets of that. With the inhalation exercise, I can do that five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, I've done as long as 45 minutes because I'm always getting enough oxygen. I'm always getting, uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm not making the diaphragm like, oh goodness, let me just stop this thing. No, it is, it is a very peaceful, very relaxing exercise. And the, and the muscle tone of pulling that diaphragm fully down more than, more than you're used to is, is incredible. So here we go. The valve is fully open and watch for my shoulders to move as I pull a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more.
I can keep doing that all day, folks. And as I was doing it right there, I could feel the relaxation kick in. That is my favorite way to use this device is for deep inhaling. I'll use it for exhaling for that power lifting kind of feeling periodically through the week. But daily, I like to inhale through this, especially after a long day. Uh, it takes care of, uh, it just, it's, it's, it's like to say, it's a manual switch to go from your sympathetic to your parasympathetic nervous system simply by bringing that diaphragm down as low as you can to come in contact with that vagus nerve. Okay, one other benefit of a breathing training device, and I'll just cover it quickly to keep the video short, is that anything that we can do to improve our ability to deliver oxygen to the cells within our body helps us have more energy. Uh, aerobic metabolism means making energy from oxygen, and that energy is made in our, in our trillions and trillions and trillions of cells. So whatever you can do in general, whether it's, it's breathing training, whether it's other breathing habits, breathing wellness, uh, nutrition, that kind of thing, whatever can help deliver more oxygen to those cells means that you're gonna make, be able to make more energy um, in the best form possible, which is aer aerobic metabolism. There's also anaerobic metabolism, but that's a backup. That's, that's what creates the lactic acid burn when you're working out and your muscles are burning. That's our anaerobic metabolism. We want aerobic metabolism as much as possible. That's what we're de designed to run on. Okay, let's talk about how to uh, clean your breathe easy lung and abs exerciser. I wanna, I just, I can't say this enough. There's one main rule for keeping this clean. That is always have a clean mouth. No food particles, no gum, nothing in your mouth. Okay, so how do you clean your mouth? Well, that's obvious. You can rinse your mouth out with water, you can brush your teeth, or you can chew gum to get the, to capture the food particles, but make sure you discard the gum. Okay, that's it. Now, from there, let's take some soap in our hands, some liquid soap, and let's start washing our hands. Let's take the finger, let's go inside like this. Let's have the valve all the way open um, so the water can run inside and come out the other end. And when you feel like it's it's been rinsed out where you're not gonna taste the soap, you can blow the water out, or if you don't want to do that, set it up like this, let the water drain. That's it, simple as that. I keep one of these on my sink vanity right next to the faucet. So I come out of the shower, I'll brush my teeth, I'll, um, I'll do my lung exercises, then I'll just, I got the water right there, I got a little soap right there, I'll rinse it out, I'll set it up to dry, it's ready for the next time I want to use it. Simple as that. Again, always make sure you have a clean mouth before you use it. That way, it's, it's so easy to clean this device. If you're curious, where can you buy the Breathe Easy Lung and Abs Exerciser? Look at the links below in the description. Um, you can, you'll see that you can buy it from my website at forebreatheeasy.com. Uh, but we are also on Etsy, eBay, and Amazon. If you're a prime customer at Amazon, often you can, you can order for same day or next day delivery because we're scattered throughout all the warehouses. Uh, your choice. But if you do order through us, we do offer a buy three, get one free special. We always have that special. It's our normal, it's our normal volume discount. It saves you 25%. I also wrote a, it's up, up to about 80 pages and it's gonna continue to grow. Uh, ebook that goes along with the Breathe Easy. It's a simple uh, download, a PDF download, which means you can, you can uh, read it on any kind of device. And you're also welcome to share the, the ebook with friends and family. And I cover not only what I covered in this video, but I cover in depth more wellness topics on breathing and more wellness topics just on general wellness, purely for education, so that you might get an idea of something that you hadn't heard of before and that would trigger you to go out and, and research more. I also, in that ebook, have a lot of links to my favorite experts, you know, PhD doctors, MD doctors, um, you know, chiropractor doctors, all sorts of all of the, my favorite voices of the folks that really honed in on their passion and found a way to uh, come across in a very um, in simple terms to describe something about health that is very profound. So I have those links to um, primarily YouTube videos, but also to some books yeah, in the ebook. Again, it's free whether you buy my product or not. Um, my main focus is education and that you'll actually find out between the ebook and this device, the ebook is actually more of a total approach uh, to wellness where uh, this is one of the tools in your toolbox to wellness. So you might even find that with this product plus the ebook, you hopefully you will, you'll feel like you get way more than what you spent just for this product. Okay, you're welcome to contact me. The easiest way is 
uh, through my uh, email address at wecare at forebreatheasy.com. And let me know if you have questions. Let me know how I can help you with technique. I'm not a medical professional, so I can't help you with, with things you might be dealing with in your health, but I can help you learn to use this effectively like I've learned to use it for myself. I really, really am happy that you came by. I'm glad that you made it to the end of the video. I hope that we can welcome you into our customer family, and I hope that you'll contact me with questions, feedback, stories, suggestions, complaints, uh, whatever it is, because I'm really here trying to share something that worked for me, trying to share it with you. Uh, do it in a way where we all can win, where we all can benefit and get to know each other. I've learned so much from my customers. and It's, it's a beautiful relationship to be able to share something that I'm familiar with and learn something that they're familiar with. And everybody, like I say, everybody wins. I want a win-win for everyone. Okay, that's it. Have a great day. Best wishes to all of you. Andrew Souther signing out.